Lawrence! What? Look at this. <laughs> You're scaring me, Ben. Is that correct? Is that profile correct? Oh my god, half today is downhill. Yes. Which way are we going? Down. Down. Which way? That way. That way. Look which way the flags are blowing, Lawrence. Oh my goodness. We are bl <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to stop me. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have we have a tailwind downhill. Downhill all day. Much different from yesterday. We had a headwind uphill all day. Are we really all gonna wear jackets? No, but I've got a gilet on. It'll come off in 10 minutes. <laughs> Day five of cycling the West Malaysian Peninsula. Today's ride is from Cameron Highlands down to Slim River, 120 kilometers long and 50k of descending. This doesn't feel like descending though, does it? No. Ben, the jacket idea was stupid. It lasted two minutes. This is a beautiful descent. So flowy, perfect surface. The only scary bit is that it's getting hotter and hotter the further we go down. Back to our 40 degrees again. Oh, it's so warm. We must be close to the bottom again. More footwork, more energy, more passion, more footwork, more energy. Had his wheat mix again. Open. You're right, Ben. You seem a bit shell shocked. Yeah, I should have gone to bed earlier. I'm still on like Lawrence time. Lawrence goes to bed at like stupid o'clock, and I just stay up chatting with him like we're on a sleepover. <laughs> Two things. One, this is giving me horrible flashbacks. We are outside the same chain of shops where I fell in a hole. Look how deep the hole is. Do they have this? Every every single one of these shops, they have this death hole. Second thing. Another observation about Malaysia. A bit like the crisp packet thing. You can't open the crisp packets. You also can't open these. The ring pulls, we haven't got a week, have we? This was a problem on day one. When I'm in England, I'm strong enough to open a can of Coke. It's so, so hard. Why is it different? You strong nail. Strong nail. Long nail. Long nail, strong nail. Oh, I like that guy. It's been a bit smudged now, I've carried it for the last two hours. It's from 7-Eleven and it's called Layer Cake. Isn't that a film? It smells really good. I wish you guys could try this. Come to Malaysia, try their fluffy cakes. In the last town, they were a big fan of strawberries. There were strawberries everywhere. This town, there's apples and pears. They must love stairs. This might seem like we're being silly English people again and not eating the local food. However, at this time of the day, all the traditional options are closed for Ramadan. So, strange fake KFC, it is. Mary Brown, Mary Brown something. They sell chips, which have salt on, and that's all I want. Did you just say this wasn't local? It doesn't get much local than this. What? There is nothing else here. We are in local. I've got rice. This chilli sauce actually. Um, this is, I presume, like a KFC establishment, but here in Malaysia. And every single one of these chicken places has this amazing chilli sauce. Oh, nice. And it is really good. And it's full of sugar, which we need. We've got pasta. Where do you get pasta from? Mate, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with the same fast food yesterday. I can't do it again. KFC does rice everywhere. Oh, it's sticky. It's edible straw. Oh man. Nah. Edible? 
Well, yeah, it's sticky. Why else would it be sticky? Isn't that the flavour? Your straw is the flavour. I think as it comes through the straw, it gives the water flavour. It's broken. Unreal. What is it? I don't know. I've learned something on this trip. I've learned something on this trip. Don't put your razor in with your other cosmetics. Because somehow on this ride, my razor has been like a samurai inside the plastic bag, slicing up my toothpaste. No way. My face cream. No way. So every day I get out, get something extra out of the bag, and something's cut to shreds. I went into my attic the other day, right? Your attic? My attic in London. And I went, I opened the cupboard, right? The, the, the drawer. You, you have a red ant on your helmet. You seemed very fascinated by my story there. I was wondering what was going on. The squirrel had gone into all of my gels. I made friends with the lady in the shop and she said there's a cafe down the road which is really great but it's quite a long walk away not a very long drive I jokingly said can we have a lift and she said yeah so now her husband's giving us a lift one hour later local dish this looks healthy of course nice one thank <laughs> you so much your food. thank you I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. Thank you so much. I haven't updated the viewers on what's just happened. We got to the restaurant that the lady recommended. It was closed. So we walked back along a very dangerous main road, found a different place for food, which was absolutely fantastic. Then went back to the shop where I met the lady. She felt so bad that she's given us three laxes. How are we gonna, how are we gonna squeeze this Mate, in? I'm so full. <laughs> I couldn't possibly squeeze anything else. It's um, breakfast. 